In CSGO, there are a ton of settings. Some of them have drastic effects, and others not so much. With how precise you need to be to compete, there are no need for extra variables. This is why we create configurations that can execute either automatically or by manually typing in the console and have your preferred settings when entered. To make this happen, we first need to create a text file by using Notepad, WordPad, or Word. For this example, we will be making a config that we can execute manually to have binds for our crosshair size, gap, thickness, and color. This is just for starters. Open Notepad or whatever you have chosen to use and enter in these commands. Then hit save as and name it example.cfg. It is important that we add the extension .cfg for it to be read by the game. Now when we enter the game you'll see that I have my default crosshair. Green with a small gap, extremely thin and size 5.5. And all of that is ran off of my auto exec, but we'll get into that later. Now open console and type exec example.cfg. As you can see, the crosshair changes to a small thick purple with a big gap. And I can easily type in my execute auto exec and it goes back to default. Now back onto auto execs, which are just config files named auto exec so it can run the second your game loads. To do this, we need to go into your launch options. Go to your Steam library, right click CSGO, click properties, then set launch options, and enter in this command. What this does is you are telling the game to run auto exec as soon as it's launched. There are other launch option commands, you can learn about them by clicking on the link at the top left. Now it is time to actually create an auto exec. But here's the thing, I'm lazy, and I don't want to step by step go and rewrite all of these commands, plus that would make this video last forever. Instead, let's use my already made and properly thought out auto exec, which you can get in the description box below. I'll start from the top and go all the way down and explain which commands I think are important for everyone to have in the auto exec, and I'll explain what some of the commands do and how I organized it all. As you can see, I organized by categories and put them in different sections, such as my view model and crosshair. Important thing to note here is the two forward slashes on my old crosshair settings. When those are added at the start of the line, then whatever follows will be ignored and allows us to organize different sections without messing the config up. You can even see how I added two forward slashes in front of each command for my old crosshair, which I saved in my config in case I ever want to go back to it. Let's start with the view model section. These should be all the commands dealing with your view model. Use whatever settings you prefer and just enter in the numbers. Same with the crosshair. These should be most, if not all, the commands dealing with the crosshair. You can simply type each of these commands in the console and it will tell you what value you use currently. Bobbing and movement shifting is pretty much how your weapons move when you move. If you use my settings, it will auto set it to the lowest possible values. If you want to use what you're already using, again, just type it in console and see what values they are at. Back four years ago when I first made my auto exec, I did the research on what all of these commands do, and I highly recommend you do the same. But I can't remember what they all do, so you either have to trust me, or do the research yourself. I always start the game with zero volume so my ears don't explode listening to Valve's music and sounds. I also start off with voice enable zero because I don't want to listen to people talk when I'm deathmatching or surfing, and I also made a bind that you will see later that allows me to toggle voice enable when I'm in a pug or a scrim. Again, just some standard settings with the hood. If you're unsure of any of these commands, just type it into Google. Now notice how I have auto weapon switch off. This is a real point of the auto exec. No matter if I'm at my house or halfway across the world, I will never accidentally have this setting on and I will never have one of those frustrating deaths of swapping to a weapon that I just walked over. These rates are standard, and to my knowledge, you should always have them set to this. Here is where I keep my sensitivity, and to make sure I never have mouse excel on unless I want it on. If you can remember what DPI you use on your mouse, you will have the exact same sensitivity wherever you go and the game should never feel off to you. Video settings and net graph settings aren't that important, so let's just skip over those. Now, here are my buy binds, and these are the ones I personally use. If you use something different like the F1 to F12 keys, just enter them here and erase mine. Or, 
If you need ideas on how to set some up, you can use mine. Now notice how on all of mine I have the give weapon command after buying the same weapon. What this does is if you have SV cheats on, then it will drop the gun so you don't always have to input the money command. And if you are in a pug or playing matchmaking, it's completely legal and it does nothing when you use the use command. Now here's the setting to have my knife always show up in the opposite hand like in 1.6 VODs and highlights. If you're interested in this, check out the link at the top left. Here are a bunch of random binds I threw basically into a junk drawer. As I mentioned before, I bound F4 to toggle my voice enable on and off. And I even put simple stuff such as making sure my tab brings up the scoreboard, which again is the point of having the auto exec, so you can always have the consistency. Alias basically allows us to use shorthand. So as I mentioned before, I start the game at zero volume. But I know when I scrim, I play with the volume at 0.3. Instead of fully typing that out, all I have to do is open console and hit V3. If you need the jump throw script and bind, here it is. Check the top left for a link on a video going more in depth about this. Display damage is kind of useless, it just shows how much damage you did to someone just like in console, just without opening console. Here is my second jump throw. But there are some interesting commands here. First off, MM dedicated search max P65 makes it to where whenever I play matchmaking, I should never have more than 65 ping, and it essentially picks servers near me. Another command I'm glad I added to my auto exec is disable HTML MOTD. Those servers that play ads when you join them that hurt your ears, yeah, I have them all disabled. I made another alias of typing disk on console to disconnect from the server because I'm really bad at typing disconnect. I told you I'm lazy, didn't I? CL mute enemy team one is another great one because I never have to read what the other team is being toxic about. Helps me keep level headed. CL join advertise to allows anyone from my friends list to join any server I'm in without an invite. This command is set to default of 1, which means that they can only join off of you if you're in a Valve server. You can also set it to 0 if you want no one to ever join you. Shout out to Shao Kai and Big Dirty from Reddit for this info. Now this last part is mainly just an echo, which means in console only it'll type whatever you want. I add this just to know that my execute is working, but the important thing about this is host write config. You need this at the end of your auto exec. What it does is pretty much save all of your auto exec info into the config.cfg. Jovial Feline on Reddit explains it best. Whenever the game is launched, there's a short sequence of startup configs that get executed, and auto exec is unfortunately squeezed between two calls of config.cfg, the main file for storing user settings. Using host write config, you should keep your auto exec changes from being reset by saving them to config.cfg. That way the startup sequence should go like this, config.cfg with old settings, auto exec.cfg with changes, config.cfg again with changes for saved from the auto exec. 